Hi, I'm Angela, and I am a Facebook addict. I have a page called Chick Fix, and normally I make these quirky little videos about home repairs and maintenance, sometimes cars too. But today I am stepping outside of my cone of insanity to talk to you guys about how you can make your newsfeed actually show you what you want to see. There's been one of those cut and paste things going around Facebook lately that says that Facebook is limiting you to only seeing 25 people and if you don't like or comment on this post right now, I'm going to disappear from your newsfeed forever. Much like all things that are not entirely true but kind of believable, there is a little bit of truth to it. Your Facebook feed has two settings. If you click on those three little dots next to newsfeed, you'll see top stories and most recent. To get to the same thing on the Facebook mobile app, look for those three horizontal lines. Most recent is exactly what you think it is, but Top Stories uses algorithms to try to define what you want to see based on your like, comment, and share history. Facebook is very cagey about their algorithms because they don't want someone like me to be able to come in and trick it, <laughs> as if I had that kind of skill. I haven't been able to find any kind of proof that it limits you to 25 people, but it does assume that the people that you comment on or like are people that you care about seeing more often and it deprioritizes other stuff. So if you go and like my page, my next couple of posts are gonna show up in your top stories, but if you don't click like or comment, it eventually is going to drop off. And unfortunately, that makes situations like this happen to me all the time. Hey, have you ever done a video on how to fix drywall? Yeah, I did three and I posted them just last week. <sighs> You're kidding me. Mm -hmm. I've liked your page, why did I miss it? <sighs> because Facebook thinks you don't really care about me. But there are some things that you can do as a user to make sure that you don't miss anything that you want to see. If you want to see the most recent post, just set your newsfeed to most recent. And I know what a lot of y'all are saying right now. I already did that and it's still not showing me everything. That's because Facebook resets you back to top stories at a minimum every 24 hours. So even though you may have set it to most recent last week, it's back to top stories now. One thing you can try is frequently changing your Facebook page back to most recent. This is a great option for people like me who are on Facebook every day. But if you're someone who logs on every once in a while, something really cool could have happened three or four days ago that you're not gonna see because it's gonna be buried at the bottom of the newsfeed. Hey, I heard your cousin had her baby last week. Well, why the heck didn't I see it? In that case, you wanna keep it on top stories, but you wanna set your preferences. Click on those three little dots next to newsfeed and scroll down to edit preferences. This pulls up a whole list of things you can do, including prioritize who to see first. You can choose up to 30 people or pages that will always show up in your top stories regardless of how much you like or comment on them. Now, with your newsfeed, you'll have to change it both on your computer and your mobile device separately, but your preferences will stick to your login, so they're gonna show up across the board. Uh, why is this post still at the top of my news feed? She posted it like a week ago. If there is a post in your top stories that just won't go away, or if you have a situation like this. Uh, you know that guy I work with I was telling you about? Which one? You know, the one that thinks he's being funny and clever, but he's really just oh, insulting yeah. people all the time. I gotta unfriend that guy. You don't necessarily have to unfriend somebody or unfollow a page. Click the three little dots next to the most recent post, and that gives you several options for hiding somebody, snoozing them, or unfollowing them. I have a vested interest in making sure that if you've gone through the trouble of liking my page, that my videos actually show up on your newsfeed. But this doesn't necessarily make me an expert at Facebook. So if you are a Facebook expert, or if your experience has been a little different than mine, please feel free to comment any suggestions below on how all of us can make our news feeds work better for us. Thank you very much and follow Chick Fix.